And welcome to part 5 of Mega Man X. We're now in Sting Chameleon stage, which is a rather easy stage, and it has the best upgrade in the game, in my opinion. This heart tank is down here, so it's not a bottomless pit. Well, it is a bottomless pit, but there's actually more leading to it. Uh, the water won't be here unless you kill Launch Octopus like I did earlier, so um, if you come down here and see there's no water, that's why. Water helps you reach the jump so that you can reach the heart, so you're going to need it. And then you scale this cliff instead of going down the tunnel, and we find the Dr. Light upgrade that kicks ass. Or at least, we find a green robot guarding the Dr. Light upgrade. Anyone think this is like a successor to Otto in some way? Otto, the green item-making robot from the classic Mega Man series? I don't know, just the color scheme and the fact that he's guarding Dr. Light's capsule, so it's clearly Dr. Light's robot. Seems like, I don't know, Otto 2.0, but it's not. Anyway, this robot is huge when it comes to health, but it's pretty easy to defeat. He just has this very basic pattern where if you're really close, he'll try to hit you with his hook, and if it if he's close enough to the wall when he swings at you, he'll actually drag himself to the wall. And if you're really far away, he'll try to jump into you. And that's pretty much it. He just, he just does this process over and over again. He doesn't have a health bar visible on screen, but, uh, you know, you can tell he's when he's dying because the smoke is coming off him, and he's got a huge health bar, so he takes a while to put down. I don't know why. But uh, this is surprisingly the easiest, one of the easiest upgrades you can get, aside from the dash. And uh, it's probably the best upgrade, in my opinion, because it is the armor. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. I just said that, Dr. Light. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. That's right, you'll take half damage from attacks now. So not only does it give you a nice white body plate there, but uh, it's so useful. I mean, if you're having trouble with Mega Man X because the Mavericks keep kicking your ass, maybe you want to start with Sting Chameleon stage and grab the body armor. Of course, you'll still have to beat the green giant robot that guards it, but again, he's not too much to worry about. He's a pretty easy boss. And this tunnel has a lot of bolder enemies that love to drop, and you can only shoot them when they've unlike when they've unformed and they're no longer a boulder, but you know, regardless. It's nothing to worry about. This level's pretty basic. And I got all the Dr. Light capsules, so we're good. We got a fully upgraded Mega Man X at long last. Um, I still have to get heart tanks and sub tanks, but uh, we'll be doing that later. And there's another mech. Even though it's a different color than the green one in Chill Penguin stage, it has the, pretty much the same basic use. It's red, it can dash, you can punch things with it. Uh, with this quicksand, though, it can get stuck, so you want to get out of it as quickly as you can. So dash a lot, jump a lot. Just don't stick around too too often, or else uh, it'll suck. Mechs are always great. You don't want to lose health, and being in a mech keeps your health, so why not? But now we've reached Sting, Sting Chameleon, who can be a rather difficult boss, but I have his weakness, so he's not. <laughs> He likes to blend in with the background, and he likes to move around that way. You can still see the shadowy effect he leaves behind when he does, but I seem to always see it. When he starts the fight off, he grabs his ton, and he tries to make spikes from, fall from the ceiling. And this is when I just do this awesome pattern where, if you shoot in the opposite direction, after he like he's going to bounce to either side every time he gets hit. So the, look at that. I just rape him like that. Basically, I hit him. I turn around, I shoot again, and he runs into my other shot. And I just repeat that process, and Sting Chameleon is a rather easy boss when you know that strategy. If he has his weakness, though, you have a lot of dodging to do, and a lot of keeping your eyes open. But we got Chameleon Sting, which is a basically a three laser shot. Great range, uh, great for taking out enemies. It's awesome. And that was the last Maverick, folks. And here's our friend Zero. Finally! We found Sigma's fortress! Well, cool. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Alright, folks. Now it's time to take out that big bad Sigma, who we see clearly 
with a balding, ugly look. But first, the last heart and sub tank. So there's a heart tank in Chill Penguin stage, and I couldn't get it when I played the level. But now I have a flamethrower. It's at the top here in an igloo. Just flamethrower it open, and boom, we get the heart tank. In Spark Mandrill stage, if you take the lower path in the opening of the stage, uh, there's gonna be a sub tank hidden behind a wall, but we can't reach it, obviously. So we gotta use Boomer Kowanger's weapon, and when we jump and shoot it, it'll aim downwards and get it. So now we have all the sub tanks and heart tanks. Now it's time for the secret Dr. Light capsule. Uh, if you go back to Armored Armadillo stage and you see that energy pellet on the top of this cliff, you have to grab it five times, and when you come back the sixth or fifth time, this capsule appears. I give you a special present. Now enter the capsule, Mega Man. Ah, hell. Anywho, uh, this is Mega Man's special ability. It's the Hadouken! Hadouken uh, from Street Fighter, Ryu and Ken use it a lot. So basically grab the energy pellet five times, be at full health, have every upgrade as well, and then you can grab it no problem. And it's a pretty cheap at attack. It can kill any boss in one hit. So if you really want to cheat the game, that's the way to be. But uh, I never grab it when I play through the game, so screw it. Let's split up. I'll go in first and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Yeah, Zero. Keep the main defense force busy. Busy. We all know what he's really doing. He's just going around for a smoke or something. Anyway, this is Sigma's Fortress, and we're going to finish this game. Sigma's Fortress is, of course, as one would expect, the hardest area in the whole game. And uh, it's best you have all the upgrades and heart tanks before you go into this place. If you try to beat this place without heart tanks or anything, you're just asking for a heap of trouble, and I would not advise it. I would advise it against this. This whole section has a lot of platforms moving left and right, which look easy to navigate, but in a way they aren't, because enemies love to fly around and run into you. Uh, so I want to equip Rolling Shield, supercharge it so that you have a shield, so that any enemies that do run into you, they're going to get hit by the Rolling Shield and they won't really affect you at all. Just concentrate on the platforming and you shouldn't have too much trouble. Storm Tornado is awesome for destroying things. And here I just brought out every weapon for no reason. I was trying to get back to my Mega Buster, but then I kept seeing enemies, so I was like, KILL KILL KILL! But anywho... Time for some plot! Big Bad Vile, and Zero! Stay back, X! I'll take him on! Uh, Zero, maybe we should help... Maybe we should, I don't know, team up and fight him together? Who the fuck are you, Anakin Skywalker? Well, if he was Anakin Skywalker, you would have killed him. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> X, do what I tell you, or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Alright folks, we got upgrades from Dr. Light, now we can take out Vile, let's do it! So basically what you want to do is rotate the control pad 360 uh, in a whole bunch of different angles. Um, you want to chant while you're playing the game, you want to pray to God. Uh, tell God that you want to beat Mega Man X and he will give you the power to defeat Vile. But also, you have to be wearing a sweater. You can't be wearing a t-shirt. If you wear a sweater, then the fight will be that much easier, believe me. Oh, also, um, you have to eat an apple before you fight, because that really makes your buttons move so much better. Okay, if you don't want to do any of that, the point is you can't win the fight. <laughs> yeah, you still can't beat him. I got upgrades and shit, too! What the hell? But Zero magically just breaks out of his prison cell. Maybe, but I'm not through yet! And because robots have that ability, he self-destructs and blows the shit out of his armored carrier. Leaving Vile defenseless. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now, in part six.